what some I just saw that in one school they, there was a teacher that she did have some markers and, and wrote kids wrote on uh, sheet protectors like a little whiteboard if you have them write on paper whatever you want to have them do but a little bit older kids you can have them say okay let's say cat ah now like write it on your paper yes today there were 12 team members that came from California to do the principal training. So we brought in books and literacy, phonics, reading and writing. And each of the literacy trainers broke up into groups and we did, um, we taught the teachers phonics assessments, reading assessments, and how to track their students and figure out where their students are at due to COVID and how we can bridge the gap between where they came in at and the missing educational piece for two years of not being in school. So today in the Toledo District, we had 50 principals come in for the Toledo District training. We had 12 California teachers come in, special education teachers, regular education teachers, and reading specialists come in to do the training and work with the teachers on um, the phonics materials and reading materials that we brought in from the U.S. Mrs. Stem has been working um, with me and so she has assisted me um, greatly in the school where I work. Um, in fact, when I was mayor, she visited the town council and um, she prayed with me and that was when I know that she was a teacher and so when I went to Sundaywood she assisted me with school materials. Um, we had four schools that were in initially involved um, with the program um, with Mrs. Manditem, Prikasarko, Sundaywood, Conejo and of course Barranco but eventually they expanded it to include other schools um, in the district including the government the Methodist School and of course they did the Catholic schools here in Toledo. So um, I could speak um, most definitely that she has been there for St. John the Baptist. In fact, um, we are presently engaged in a sewing program at um, Conejo Creek where ladies sew. And this is to empower the ladies for them to make a little money that they could assist their families with. Prior to COVID, in February of 2020, we did a screening of all our students in Standard 1 in our schools in Toledo. And the data revealed that about 83.5% of our students in Standard 1 were reading two grades below their degree level, which means that they were reading at an infant one level. That was just before we closed school in March of that year. So the problem persisted throughout COVID. The students, as you might know, were at home doing learning packages, so the situation got even worse. When the time came for us to, the time came for us to reopen the districts at the district center, we knew we had to do something. We had established prior to COVID a partnership with Rotary International um, from Alberta, Canada, to do some training in literacy. And so they came, they came to visit us in May and they brought with them an intervention program that was research-based, developed by the University of Alberta, Canada to bridge learning gap caused by COVID with students who are struggling to read. We also established partnership with California Baptist University and shared with them the Toledo District the Toledo District uh, Intervention Literacy Plan and for them to see how they can support the intervention going on in our schools and they were more than willing to look at the plan and to see where they can support our principals. So in, on the 10th of January, Tuesday 10th January, our partners visited, visited in Toledo and we brought out all the principals literal and literacy coaches from our schools to do a one-day training focusing on phonics assessment, reading comprehension assessment, how best practices to teach reading and writing as well to support 
our teachers in the classroom as they are undergoing the intervention. As students are learning to read words, they're learning to decode words, they're learning to blend, to blend words, we now need to shift our focus on how much they are comprehending what they're reading and how well they can write as well. So the training that the principals and coaches were engaged in um, was just to do that, to equip them with, with additional strategies, with additional ideas, activities of how they can go back to their schools, train their teachers, and have the teachers incorporate these ideas and strategies into the intervention program to help develop our, our students. We would like to express our sincere gratitude to our partners from California Baptist University for a job well done. It took six months of planning to get the program off the ground, to get the training done. The resources that they, that they provided to our principals, the, the reading books, the strategies that the principals now have in their toolkit is, is worth, is going to be worthwhile. As in Toledo, we are trying our best to ensure that our students are engaged in meaningful learning activities and targeted intervention to bring them up to speed to ensure that they're able to read and write at grade level. On behalf of the principals and teachers and students of our district, I express a heartfelt thank you to our partners and we look forward to our continued working relationship as we forge forward to bridge the learning gap caused by COVID and other, and other means.